Hello everyone and welcome to Noganic One-Shots featuring Castle Torgiath Descent into Madness. I haven't played this and I received this from Dietrich Online Services, so I am going to go ahead and jump in. One day, while looking for work by the notice board, you discover an expedition has set up a contract search searching for able people to assist in an exploration of the ancient castle Torgiath, an old forgotten fortress said to contain untold riches and dangers within. The prospect sounds interesting to you, and the offer details an amount of 1,000 gold plus a share of any relics, uh, relics discovered in the old castle. Upon reading this, you arm yourself with your sword and set out for the castle to catch up with the expedition. As you approach Castle Torgiath, a dark foreboding comes upon you and worry just what may lie and you worry just what may lie within its ominous walls. Despite these concerns, you decide to press onward into the castle. As you enter inside, the vast doors shut with a resounding clang, and you realize you will not be able to exit the way you came. Take a deep breath to steady yourself. Taking a deep breath to steady yourself, you walk forward as you begin your descent into madness. Alright, let me go ahead and grab my other keyboard, because otherwise you guys are going to be hearing clicks and clacks and all kinds of things that you probably don't want to hear. So this looked good. Don't know what I would call it besides a like first person hack and slash kind of situation. Didn't really look much like an RPG, but maybe I will be surprised. As soon as it's done, ah, so we're loaded in. Okay, so that's our slash. Right click apparently does nothing. Let's look around and see if we can got some meat. Anything else in here? Okay, so that puts our stuff away, but why would we want to do that? Jesus, place is dark. I see something moving over there. It looks like a spider. But before we actually go over there, we're going to look around and see if we can find anything else. In fact, there seems to be a lot of movement over here. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Okay. So, I'm going to try not to be quiet, but I always feel like whenever I play a game where it's dark and I'm kind of sneaking around or moving slowly, I feel like I have to speak quieter. Us. Our first enemy. Die, spider from the deep. Go away. Come on. I don't have a block, so there's, there's going to be a lot of dancing. Okay. You were fairly easy. Come on, you. Come on. Oh, I can't move. That's not fair. Hey, stop it. Whoa. Ah. Didn't expect you. I didn't even see you. Go away. Anything else? And the music... Okay, so... That's my first gripe. First of all, the spacing between the music of combat and... The, of just walking around. They should fade in... And out roughly at the same time to kind of make it a little smoother. So I just hit myself in the face with the door. Again. There. Thank you. Giant rat. A uh, classic staple. You are way easier than I expected you to be. And treasure. Just some simple gold. Wonder if there will be a place in here to spend it. Oh, and I just noticed there's no jump. Okay. Well, you don't always need a jump. But I... I think it would be kind of nice to have it. Even if you don't need it, it's always nice to have a jump. 
I'm one of those kinds of people. Come here. Just takes one slash to kill the giant rat, but spiders take like three hits. I think it's easier to chop off a spider's limb than a rat. Oh god. Okay, so, now we get to play the game of, what the hell is the inventory button? Okay, well, so, apparently we have a hunger and health, maybe? Or maybe they're both the same thing? Hold on. Let's use the carrots because they heal less. Okay, so that is our hunger. We have nothing that can actually heal us at this moment. How strange. It's amazing! This place must be hundreds of years old! I'm leaving these notes for our expedition behind to record what we what we discover here. From what we can tell, the front gate can be opened by a key held in the storage room, which is locked by another key stored in what appears to be the remains of an office. The architecture of this place is very foreign, so it must have belonged to a far go, a far off age. I don't know why I said far ago. <laughs> the notes that we found intact seem to suggest it was a base of some sort, and it, and is actually a castle buried underground. This place definitely merits further investigation, and I will update my notes the further we get inside. So yeah, I'm going to probably read a lot of these wrong. You guys can read it for yourself. Don't don't take what I read uh, as the absolute fact, because chances are I missed a word or I said something wrong in the first place. And you guys don't want to deal with that crap. You guys want to know what's being said. Well, let's go into these rooms one at a time. Hello. Like I'm not. I don't consider this a horror game, so I'm not exactly scared. Tomato. But it is still very spooky. Move over here. You know, I've. I've... Come here, you giant rat. I really do like. I mean, the animation is simple. The entire game itself is kind of simple, but it's not its not bad. I, I can still find enjoyment in this. Commander's personal log. Day one. I've started this journal with the express purpose of keeping track of our battle with the invaders. The war with them has lasted as long as I can remember, and what once seemed an easy task to overcome has pushed us to the brink of destruction. Day 32. In less than two months, they have broken through our last line of defense on the surface and left us no choice but to retreat to Castle Torgiath. Yeah. Our ancestors once used this impenetrable underground fortress to outlast our enemies in their darkest hours, and we shall do the same. It is unlikely they would go through the effort to storm the castle once they have conquered the outer land. With luck, we can use the secret passage at the bottom of the castle to escape the enemy and move off to forward lands to regroup. Day 68. The invaders are relentless. They must have been driven against must have been driven against us by many wrongs both of our sides have committed against one another. Times are grim, but our forces have been able to hold our own against them. The castle has lived up to its fame and protected us from them, but we are only at a stalemate with the enemy, and holding the tunnels is becoming harder and harder. It is becoming a harder and harder task. We may have to resort to the exit route, deepest in the dungeons of the castle, but we haven't pushed far enough in due to the vermin that litter the place and slow our advance. Ugh. God, my reading is just horrible tonight. It's never any better, so, I mean... Nothing's really changed. Day 74. All hope is lost. Only a select few have been told about the truth of the secret passageway. The way has been discovered by the invaders, and they attempted to use it to attack us from behind our lines. As a result, the king placed magic wards to seal the way from the intruders and block their attempts to get in. On the front lines, I tell the troop that 
troops that as long as we keep fighting them, we shall emerge victorious, but I fear there may be no escape from them now. Day 89. Something has happened with the king and his committee. Rumors say they have been made to... They have made a plan to repel the invaders, but no one knows for sure if it is true or not. The king and his men have taken several of the frontline troops into custody for attempting to desert the, the army and betray us to the enemies. At least, that's what I've been told. I plan to investigate into this further when time permits. So... There was an ancient battle here. And whoever was previously holding the castle did nothing to kill all the goddamn rats. Oh yeah, that's right. We were moving this way. In we go. What? To take out your sword, man! More goddamn spiders. Hey! Who said you could turn your back on me? Stupid wall. More spiders in her in here, aren't there? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna need to find something that uh, heals me soon. God, that is just so off-putting the way that the music just shuts off instantly. Nothing there. I would really, really like some healing at the moment. Tomato. Sucks to be you, buddy. Do I ever get better weapons? That is a question to ask. Never did check this. Get me a baguette. Some of that French bread. Going this way again. About to get turned around. Last door on this side, I think. Oh, I don't like the look of this. I really don't don't like the look of this. Nope, 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 nope. Did the entire entire place go dark? Oh, it's my torch. Relight the torch. I didn't know I'd have to do that. That really sucks. Having to relight your torch? Come on, game. Who thought that was a good idea? Hey, I'm not done collecting my money. Thank you. Not going that way. I don't like where, how that blood is, is splattered there. Which leads me to think that this game is going to have traps that I'm not going to enjoy very much. All right, now you. Let's take them on. Hey, 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 hey. That spider looks different from the rest of them, though. You have a bit more fight in you, don't you? Come on. He's down, now you. Quit clanking the sword. Not that I... It doesn't affect the, the swing radius or anything. I mean, it still keeps swinging the full animation. Just the idea. Nothing in here. Health potion? Meat? Nothing else. Okay. So are one of the keys that we received for that door? Did we check over here in this bottom corner? I want to go into that, you know, I want to move forward, but at the same time, I don't want to miss anything. Hello? I think I see a shiny over there. So this is where the dead people hang out. Gotta take that. You don't need it anymore. God, I'm... I feel like something's gonna come out of one of these things. Okay, we can't actually like mess around with them or anything, so I'm gonna close that. This was the entrance, right? This is where we came in. 
Is there actually a... No, I want that. Is there actually a save? Okay, so we have gold bars. Here's our potions. Which, I'm gonna go ahead and use one. I'm also going to eat a chicken leg. In fact, I could probably eat a few of these. Let's have some apples. Okay. Well, we got some keys, so let's go and check and see if they work on the main door. What's up, dude? I love Jesus. Yes, I do. If you don't love Jesus, they'll kill you. Oh. You look like you belong in Star Trek for some reason. You also look creepy. Peter Geraldo. Hail! Might you be another adventurer? Yes, your eyes don't deceive you. I am another adventurer. Amazing! So another crazy fool decides to do the exact same thing as myself. Well, I've had enough of this place. I'm getting out of here. I hate to tell you, but the entrance collapsed on me when I entered the castle. Then you caused the tremor. You damned fool! The only way out of here now is the rumored secret passage way deeper in the castle. So you're saying there is another way out. I... I've explored some of this area already and discovered many things. There are many notes and journals left by the expedition and former inhabitants. On top of that, there are several tasty morsels and glorious loot just waiting to be found. Beware though, for the reason I wish to leave this place is because its current denizens are not so friendly. And the bloody traps! One false move and you'll never be seen again. What about the passage? passageway was old was an old rumor from the castle's original inhabitants it was supposed to be around the inner sanctum where an emergency escape presume presumably exists i would imagine that there would be more than one mind teaser to prevent you from getting to it you may be able to get help from any survivors of the expedition survivors i there are probably still people from the expedition down there who knows who you'll meet just like them, I found something valuable. It's a health potion, and it's yours for only 30 gold. No thanks. I'm also willing to sell you some bread for 15 if you're interested. No thanks. Well, that's all I have for now. Okay, dude. See you later. More... Oh! God damn it! Oh, a white spider. What's up? What's up, bro? I'm not afraid of... Well, you, you guys seem slightly bigger than the other ones. Please stop that. Please stop that. Thank you. Why's it gotta be spiders? I'm not exactly... Uh, a... Sufferer of arachnophobia. But... I don't know too many people who like spiders. Okay. Oh, I know... Uh, in the bottom left, you can actually see how much light your torch still has. Well, isn't that handy? Oh, God, shit, damn, fuck. I was just thinking, I want to save. <sighs> Can't push these boxes in the way, can I? Can't, can, oh, okay. Only goes out so far. Jeez, that scared the shit out of me. I was like, I want to save because I have a feeling he mentioned traps, so there's going to be traps all over the place. Uh, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, God. Hellhound. And that's how you die. Anyway, guys. Uh, jeez. Well, I plan on playing this more. I, I'm not, probably not going to record it, but if you guys want to see more, go ahead and uh, leave a comment down below or send a message to my Facebook or Twitter. But that was Castle Torgiath. 
Descent into Madness. And for being a simple, you know, indie game that I, I was going in thinking, well, you know, it's probably not going to be too bad, but it's not going to be anything too amazing. It, it was fun. I would probably play more of this uh, if requested. Hell, even if it's not requested, I'll probably still play more on my own time. So yeah, you guys should give it a shot. Go ahead and check the description below for a link to the Steam page for Castle Torgiath. And you guys can try, or not try it out, but you guys can buy the game and play it for yourselves. But that is it for me today, guys. If you have any suggestions for games that you think I might like, go ahead and leave a comment down below or send a message to my Facebook or Twitter. Same thing as if you wanted to see more of this. And if I like the idea of it, I may just play it. This is Loganic, guys, and thank you for watching.